What's up everybody and welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Brett from Summit Guitar School and today I'm gonna to show you guys how to play 24 Frames by Jason Isbell. This is one of my favorite singer-songwriters out right now. In fact, I think he's like a modern day Bob Dylan. This guy is amazing, great lyrical content, great guitar playing, and overall just great, great songs. So go check him out and if you like this stuff, Go check out his uh, band as well, Jason Isbell and the 400 Unit. It's a little bit more of a rocking version of some of these um, solo type acoustic songs. So uh, with that said, this song's in the key of G, all open chords. I'll show you a simple strumming pattern that you probably already know, and if you don't, it's a great one to put in your bag of tricks. Um, if you're new to guitar, check out our Beginner Guitar Essentials course. Uh, whether you're just getting started or you've been playing for a little while, if you're getting frustrated with some of the stuff on YouTube, this class has had hundreds and hundreds of students go through it with tons and tons of success. So go check it out. You can try it. Um, it's an amazing course. Let's get started on this lesson. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, all that stuff. Here we go. So let's talk about the chords we need for this song. First, you've got a standard G major. We're in the key of G major. So it's three, two, open, 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 three. Just like that, or you can use your pinky. Uh, you've got a standard C. Three, two, open, open. First, let's talk about the chords we need for this song. So you've got a standard G major, because we're in the key of G major. First, let's talk about the key we're in. We're in G major, and our first chord happens to be the same. So we've got a G major, three, two, open, 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 three, strum all six, and you've got a C major, three, two, open, one, open, and you strum the bottom five. We've got a D major, that's open, two, three, two, fourth string down. You have a D sus, which happens sometimes in the verses, which means you just put your pinky down in front of your middle finger on the first string, so that's your third fret. That's open, two, three, three, fourth string down. We got an E minor, that's open, two, two, open, open, open. All right, that is literally all the chords we have for this song, okay? So let's talk about the strumming pattern that we're gonna use throughout the entire thing. We're gonna go down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. That's the pattern, all right? It's kind of a syncopated strumming pattern, it goes, down, down, up, miss, up, down, up, down, down, up, miss, up, down, up, just like that. So you gotta practice that before you start plugging it into the song. So it's down, down, up, miss, up, down, up, down, down, up, miss, up, down, up. So let's talk about the first verse, all right? So you're gonna go, it's quieter, right? So we're gonna stay quiet during the verse and then build towards the chorus, okay? So that means we're trying to make sure we get our dynamics. So many acoustic guitar players and electric guitar players just flail away. So we really wanna watch this, all right? That makes the song more musical. It makes it more, gives it more feeling, okay? It evokes more emotion, if you will. So the first strumming pattern that we already learned goes through the whole thing. You can start on G. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You go to C, one. to G, one, two, three, four, second verse, C, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, E minor, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, D, two, three, four, D sus, and you can pick it back up on the end of that strumming pattern, and then you go to the chorus, you thought God was an architect, two, three, four, E minor, so one, one, measure of each chord here. So you thought God was an architect, two, three, four, E minor, two, three, C, one, two, three, four, D e minor, two, three, C, two, three, four, D e minor, two, three, four, D, e, two. We'll put the sus, you want, and then 24 frames. Down, 
scale. So you're gonna go during the G to the D, it's two beats per chord. So it's down, down, up, down, down, up. So that's where the strumming pattern changes is in the instrumental each time. You got G, down, up, D, down, up. So at the start of that instrumental after in 24 frames, it's down, down, back into another verse is the exact same thing um, and then you have another chorus which is the exact same thing with another instrumental and then you have another chorus same exact chords with another instrumental and the song ends on C okay so it's a pretty simple song but it's great to get your strumming going so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna play through a verse a little bit slower and a chorus a little bit slower and then that'll be it for this tutorial. So verse G again C E minor D got the instrumental after 24 frames C Enjoy this lesson. Give me a like, give it a subscribe, share it with other people who love guitar and good songs. See you next time.